grew up there. I come from a family of two. It's just me and my brother. My brother is older than me, so I'm the youngest and the last boy. I would say it was interesting. I would honestly say that uh, it, would, it was hard sometimes, sometimes it was easy, but at the end of the day, I feel that my, mama, my mother delivered. So ever since I was uh, in, in primary school, I could tell I was outstanding in terms of academic performance. Probably, I, whatever, whatever I had my dreams, I still have them. In primary school, I got 404. In high school, I got a B. The main challenges growing up was, uh, I would say it was the financial part of it. Because again, as I said, I grew up in a single parent family. This means that the mother, the woman who brought me up had to be the parent, she had to be the provider, she had to be the mentor. So sometimes you could tell she was training and uh, the financially that is you could tell she was training but everything else she was good at it i went to sari girls and uh, every time sari girls is a charitable institution for girls so they bring the girls here and then they have sponsors people who are willing to come and pay school fees for these girls so that is how i heard about kcdf because among the many sponsors that the school had kcdf was among them so that is where I learned about it. When I was in Form 3, there were this, I knew there was KCDF from other people together with GGBC, and I knew there were people who had been chosen. So I used to be very interested. They would always ask those who were before, what about this, what, what happens to this institution? What exactly do they do? So I applied and I was in Form 4. And uh, luckily, I, I got in. I would say the main benefit from KCDF was the academic part. I would say it has been all-rounded. It has come in with the mentorship, it has come in with the finance, it has come in with the, with the internships. So I would say KCDF gave me the whole package of goodies in it. And as a woman, I see myself with a group of people who are willing to go as far as I would want to see. As a person in the society, it always like, it challenges me because when you go to these conferences and people are talking about how much they're giving back to society, it's only obvious that you feel like you should also give back. So as a person, it has influenced my community. It has influenced how much I'm felt in the society in what ways. Five years from now, based on the internship I got through the KCTF, Based on the personal skills, especially the giving back part I learned from the, from the organization, based from the interactions, I see myself as a young woman who is making changes. I see myself as a woman in the corporate world, probably working at a good place, and I see myself as a woman who is able to impact another girl in society to be somewhere where she, she should be, or I feel that she should push. I see myself as a woman who will give back to my family and raise them up. And I see myself as somebody who will be able to invest in education as much as the organization has invested in mine. I tuition the kids once in a while. I try to mentor them. I feel like if I do it, I'm doing something that if I, it is done to someone at an early age, it would have great impact. So that's what I'm doing. I tuition the kids at home. But whatever gives me energy every time I wake up or whenever I'm faced with challenges is that behind every success story there is a story and that story is hard. It's written on a hard paper. You lose the pencil, sometimes you lose the rubber but you still get them and write them. And I tell them that there is hope and that there is opportunities as long as you concentrate and you have a very positive attitude and as long as you are willing to, to, to embrace things then you never lose hope and they are never difficult times as long as you're willing to move from them.